So I found some lost footage in this old original camera I had. And to set this up, I've lost a bit. This is Tram Ride 1000, and I have to wear a Jimmy Johnson t-shirt. Uh, and being a Kevin Harvick fan at the time, uh, that kind of sucked. Don't drink, that's all I can say. So uh, we met uh, Joey Logano. This footage is gonna cut out here, uh, but we actually met Joey Logano, super nice guy. If you meet him in person, you'll be a Joey Logano fan. I know there's a lot of Joey Logano haters out there, uh, but he's actually a pretty cool guy. Dynamite recording for my friend, cameraman Josh. Uh, he likes to record people's feet, uh, and I don't know what this is about. Uh, we're about to go to a merch trailer. We're about to go purchase the Jimmy Johnson shirt. I don't, I don't know what the Keymaster stuff's about other than we were probably drinking or something. That's Josh Bohannon. There's Jeremy. This is the group of wit here. Matt's back there with his shirt rolled up. So we razzed Starley for taking a uh, Dale Senior picture with uh, her Jimmy Johnson shirt on. And here is the Jimmy Johnson shirt they picked out for me to wear. I still have this shirt, by the way. Get ready for it. Oh, so even in this, you get the finger point. Look at that. I have a finger point in just about all my videos now. Remember when you used to wear white t-shirts underneath everything? Interesting look, Matt, uh, rolling up the t-shirt. I guess it was super hot that day. But you remember when you used to wear a white t-shirt under everything? Uh, that's still that. I think that's the last time my hair was that short, too, by the way. Looks, looks like I'm balding, but I'm not. Like, I, I still have plenty of hair. Like, not sure why it looks like uh, I'm going bald in this particular photo, other than, I guess, the camera technology has come a long ways. So he was, uh, Josh thought this dude was Paul Tuttle from uh, OC Choppers, and he like zooms in on him and he's filming him. Uh, so that's why he filmed that, uh, and then, I don't know. So all right, here we go. About to start the race here, and he is trying to film the flyover of the race, and it is gonna take him about like two minutes to focus on the planes. He's gonna focus on them. Uh, you'll see. Uh, Camperman Josh. Uh, I miss that guy. Hope you're doing good, Josh. He also could have cleaned off the lens. I don't know if you see how dirty this lens is, but it's pretty terrible. Uh, hope you're doing good, Josh, Not while I'm trashing your, uh, the camera work. Look at that terrible camera work. Uh, he is, uh, he has probably had a couple at this point. Uh, but there you go. There was the flyover. Um, and some some interesting transition work there's raven and her friend i can't remember uh her friend's name that's the group we were sitting with this is the back stretch by the way they have torn these stands down you can no longer sit back here uh this i think it's just just an open area but this was the back stretch we used to always sit on the back stretch there we go all-star race Looks like Almondinger on the outside there, the 43. 
Uh, Josh, the cameraman, was a big Jeff Burton fan, so you're about to get like a gratuitous shot of like Jeff Burton just like going in the uh, pace laps. I don't know why he was a Jeff Burton fan, but he is. Uh, I think because Jeff Burton had a pink 99 car, I think that's why he was a Jeff Burton fan, which isn't even a better reason, but here you go. There you go, Jeff Burton. Oh, Michael Waltrip, look at those paint schemes back in the day, man. Popping. Joey Logano back there with the 20. They send Joey Logano to the rear of the field for something. I can't remember why, but you're going to hear that in a second. Paul Menard car looking sharp as always. Mark Sambrose. Yeah, there you see him. Joey Logano and somebody else dropping to the back of the field for some reason. Here we go. We're going to get the start of the race. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to tell you, we get the start of the race and we get the finish of the race and the footage in between was lost or he didn't record anything. Uh, but here you go. Look at him flying. Yeah, you, you heard it like crank up there. We lost some footage there, I think. But here's the end of the race. Uh, Carl Edwards has won the race. Um, and I'm not sure why he's filming Matt. And I don't think Matt had his shirt fully on the whole day. But Matt has had one too many. He doesn't know where he's at. He's confused uh, as to why Carl Edwards has won. Uh, so, yeah. That is the uh, basically the extent of the footage. I think we're going to get some fireworks here. He had a Carl Edwards hat on, even though he had glasses on there. That's why he was pointing to his hat. And, uh, yep. So, and some, uh, some, uh, unhappy fans in the stands. You saw Matt's face. He has no idea what's happening. He's, he's not, he's about three sheets right now. There you go, the fireworks and, uh, Carl Edwards, uh, winning, uh, the All-Star Race. All right, so there is the end of it. There is the picture I posted on Twitter. And then, of course, my man, John Wolf asked, hey, can you do the full recap? So you ask, you shall receive, John. Here we go. In the All-Star Open, we had David Reagan finishing first and transfer, and Brad Keselowski gets the last transfer spot, finishing second, and to no one's surprise, sixth place finisher, Dale Earnhardt Jr. finishes, well, sixth, but gets the fan vote and transfers in. Anyway, all right, now let's go to that all-star race. And, of course, Carl Edwards wins, but let's take a look at the finishing order. Carl Edwards is first. Kyle Busch is second. David Rudiman in the double zero. Remember that guy? Remember Michael Walter Prayson? He finishes third. Tony Stewart in the 14 finishes fourth. Greg Biffle, 16th. Matt Kenseth with a top six. Denny Hamlin, 11th. David Reagan in the number six. Remember he had won at Talladega that year, so he locked in. He finished eighth. Kevin Harvick finishes ninth. He would do much better the next weekend. I'll get to that in just a minute. Ryan Newman in the 39. Remember the Tornado's car? Tornado's car, I'm sorry. Tornado's car, man. They had free tornadoes at that race, and uh, I was addicted to tornadoes for a long time. Uh, those little rolls you get at 7-Eleven. Uh, Jimmy Johnson finishes 11th in the number five Hendrick car, the number five Lowe's car. He ran the five car this race, if you guys remember correctly. Juan Pablo Montoya uh, finishes 12th. Kurt Busch in the 22 finishes 13th. Dale Earnhardt Jr. ended up 14th. Jeff Gordon, 15th. Clint Boyer in the 33 Cheerios car was 16th. And Jamie McMurray. And that number one for Earnhardt Ganassi Racing finished 17th. All right, now I said the next weekend that Kevin Harvick would have a much better race. Uh, he would win that race, and I was wearing a full, I didn't have to wear the Jimmy Johnson thing because the bet was over with at that point, but I was wearing a full face, full coverage, just like that Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick shirt that race. Uh, and it ended up being uh, sort of uh, not the best thing to do because I got razzed pretty hard by fans uh, leaving out of there because, uh, well... Dale Jr. ran out of gas, and uh, they were not happy about that because I was giving it to Dale Jr. fans all weekend uh, just to be funny, and uh, it ended up being a bad idea. Uh, if you want to see the full rundown of that race, check out the greatest choke job in the history of motorsports uh, by the Iceberg, and you will see exactly what I was talking about while wearing all that Kevin Harvick gear. It wasn't the best thing to be doing that day. All right, that's all I got for you on this one. Uh, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.